that. Here we go. Oh, here's, oh, this is a really good one. So our third uh, weedy APACA that we deal with here in Iowa that's uh, really common for us to run into is called poison hemlock. So uh, just as the name would lead you to believe, it does actually produce a toxin that if you were to consume it could be very dangerous for you or livestock. It uh, does not typically cause any irritation just by touching the plant. Um, so I think that's important to know. Uh, this is by far the biggest of our weedy APACA species. Uh, not unusual for it to get six, seven, eight plus feet tall. Uh, you can see I'm standing out here in the open and it's taller than me. Um, keys to identifying this is this has a very similarly finely divided leaf uh, to the wild carrot. Uh, one big difference is, is that the leaves are typically much wider, they're more triangular in shape instead of that thin egg shape. And then if we look at the stems on this, you can see that those stems are kind of a, a cloudy purple um, or a waxy purple uh, color. And you can see that they actually have these sort of purple spots all over the leaves, so or all over the stem. It's also hairless. Uh, so that's another key. So somebody might confuse this if they just saw the white flowers with the wild carrot, but the lack of hair on the stem and the size of the plant typically gives it away. Uh, the umbels on this are also normally more of an arcing shape across the top, whereas typically when I see wild carrot, wild carrot is very flat across the top of those umbels. Of the APACA, when it shoots out of the ground in the spring, it, it is by far the largest. Those basil rosettes can be two feet or more in diameter across on the ground. And then when it starts to bolt, it just bolts very early in the spring. Um, I think it's probably a pretty close competition between the poison hemlock and the wild parsnip as to which one flowers first.